Let's talk a little bit more about Morton's neuroma or metatarsalgia. In particular, what I'm talking about here is Morton's neuroma, but you know, realize that these interspaces and you know, the attributing nerves can be changed around and it's a very similar protocol. What I'm pretty much looking at is with my patient sitting in the chair nicely and I can sort of come from sort of off to the side and undertake my injections in that way quite comfortably. Patients are usually pretty comfortable that way too. Now really it just depends on the number of spaces that are affected as far as how many uh, areas that you're going to be injecting. But typically what I'd be looking to do is really start to numb from that sort of dorsal aspect maybe just before that metatarsal head, um, right in the neck of the metatarsal. And then you're wanting to sort of have a little bit of a further um, uh, look and seeing whether they're a bit more tender at that sort of mid to proximal aspect of the shaft um, of that interspace as well. Of course, we're wanting to follow that up the leg through our superficial perineal nerve and making sure that we're not only doing sort of our medial but also our intermediate um, dorsal cutaneous nerves. Now, of course, plantar um, metatarsalgia and Morton's neuroma, they're, they're plantar sort of nerve uh, entrapments. And so let's not st uh, forget what we're talking about with regards to our tibial nerve um, and really being our medial plantar nerve that's uh, attributing to our Morton's neuroma. Now, not uncommonly can we find that there's tarsal tunnel entrapment associated with Morton's neuroma and potentially causing Morton's neuroma. And so we need to be really aware of that. And that's sort of my you know, clinical gem here is making sure that we're not forgetting to go that whole length uh, as we can. Now, it's not something that I do put into the bottom of the foot and you'll see that there are no stars underneath. Um, if we're wanting to sort of look to that idea, I think you know maybe giving a little bit more of a local anesthetic here. Uh, into the tibial nerve, but you know, it's not something that I'd typically be looking at because that really changes this, the scope of what we're looking at with lift opt prolotherapy. But do consider if you want to go up several levels. Um, and you can see that I have gone up more than the traditional to sort of two to three levels. Uh, and so, you know, it depends where the patient's pain is presenting as well. If we're coming from, you know, really quite distal, then it's unlikely that I'm going to be using all of these spots. And I might just target ones that are more tender. Now, typically people will respond, you know, either really well or just not at all. Um, typically, if they are going to respond, they will say that it's pretty good straight away, but it can take the 24 hours. Um, but, you know, you're going to know pretty quickly by that next week as to whether patients are, you know, finding that it's of benefit. And typically after that first one, if they've not found benefit, I've not really found doing further will help more unless you're really changing sort of your approach and where you're undertaking those injections. Um, people do tolerate these quite well and you know they're pretty comfortable. Obviously anything around sort of that um, medial rear foot is going to be a little bit more tender um, and this isn't one that I sort of put tape but I do definitely make sure that myothoses or padding in the shoes in place so that we've got a really nice metatarsal dome. Do keep considering the strengthening, but you know, give it a little bit of a day's rest. Um, but really, otherwise, we're looking towards a corticosteroid injection. And in my experience, I'm more readily looking at corticosteroid injections for Morton's neuroma um, than what I am for lift oct prolotherapy. Where lift oct prolotherapy does come in is when there's really dispersed um, or diffuse uh, broad uh, swelling or pain. And that's where we can start to go, okay, well, we need to look at more than one thing. It's not an area that we can just put one steroid in and be pretty happy. And so I think, you know, having a bit of a look and saying, okay, well, let's start to desensitize some of those nerves that are feeding into this metatarsal area. And lift oct product, um, the lift oct prolotherapy protocol is a really nice way to go from that perspective. But hopefully this has given you a little bit more of a clinical insight. Um, see how you go with these ones. Again, mixed reviews from myself on this type of approach. Um, and definitely, you know, we need to be thinking of our uh, uh, more standard sort of treatments when it comes to neuromas, um, given, uh, you know, in, in the experience that I've had to date. But I think definitely uh, worth having a bit of a look at in those patients that are resistant um, to uh, more conservative treatments, or maybe are not wanting to look towards a corticosteroid injection. Cheers.